What's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and I got another episode of The People's Questions, episode 122. Today I decided to update a couple of things in terms of games, so I'll just be playing a simple round of Roshogun, which apparently is one of the best downloadable games that came out for the PlayStation 4. And I actually got a reasonably good set of questions, so let's get started with the first one coming from Gunner Drake, and you want to know... Who do I think would win in a fight between Big Boss and Solid Snake in their prime? Hmm. Well, in their prime, I'll take it. Big Boss was probably in his prime. Uh, we'll say Metal Gear Solid 3. And I'll say Solid Snake's prime would be probably Metal Gear Solid 2. In terms of weaponry, uh, I think they would be about even. In terms of strategic, tactical thinking... Uh, I think Big Bosses is a little bit more old school, while Six is a little bit updated. But what I really think it's going to come down to is hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. And although Salt Snake is probably a far more diverse fighter, when it comes to CQC, which I really don't think Salt Snake's going to be resisted to have to fight fight Big Boss, and I really think he's out of his league in that department. Since some of you may know that Big Boss actually trained Salt Snake. So, it's highly unlikely that at that point in time, Salt Snake knows anything that Big Boss didn't already train him. So, I think Big okay, Boss would try. at least have the edge in that department. So, I think Big Boss would probably be able to take Solid Snake Complete. down in their prime. The next three questions come from, or technically two questions, come from Zach Jaime. And you want to know, what is my favorite Call of Duty zombie map? Uh, Des, uh, how do I say it? I'll, I'll probably type it down here. It's like Des Rizzi. It was like the last map they, uh, released for, uh, World at War. And that, uh, and I think the highest round we ever got, uh, I can remember it. Uh, I want to say 27 rounds with four people. And our main, ta our, I think our main tactic was we basically fought our way to, like, the end factory. Uh, some of you guys might remember this, and there's actually a teleporter in a run. There's a stairwell that actually leads to, like, a long, not, I want to say hallway, but just kind of, like, a platform. And basically, we all just sat there, and we placed all our guns in one direction, and that's pretty much how we were able to do it. And we were there for, like, a good, like, two hours, and we could have gone on longer, but we decided to just quit. So, uh, you know, I, guess that, I think that's my record. It's been that way for, like... Dang, I want to say like three or four years now. And you also want me to make a request for to play with subscribers. So, uh, if any of you do happen to have Call of Duty World at War, if the server is still up, or Black Ops 1, and you would be interested in wanting to play a round of Call of Duty Zombies with me, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll set up a time, and I'll be sure to get it recorded, and I'll be sure to upload it online. The next three questions come from JDS4696, and you want to know, who do I think will be the main hero in the next Resident Evil game? Well, I think it's already been somewhat confirmed. I mean, I've been hearing rumors, but uh, from a couple of people, from a couple sources, but I've heard that Leon is going to be the main character simply because the voice actor, voice actors for uh, Leon and Hunnigan confirmed they had been working on a Resident Evil project, and if they're confirming it, then most likely it's true. I really, unless they want to throw us off, so I will put my money on Leon. Your next question is, do I think Solid Snake will ever return to the Metal Gear Solid series in the future? Um, in terms of Solid Snake, I don't think he will, and I don't think he should, because that kind of ruins the whole purpose of uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 in which that was Solid Snake's uh, last mission. And I really can't think of any time periods that he would be doing anything else. Uh, I, You know, as between Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, he was pretty much going around destroying Metal Gears, but I really wouldn't want to see a game around there. But I think we will see a much younger Solid Snake uh, going by the name of David probably at the end of uh, Phantom Pain, because yeah. if they do things correctly, then... Phantom Pain has to end with Big Boss meeting Solid Snake when he was a kid because, as I've said earlier in this video, Solid Snake was personally trained by Big Boss. So it makes sense to have the game end with him meeting Solid Snake as a kid because then that would lead to the first Metal Gear game and, you know, the rest is history. And your last question is, do I think we will ever see Rebecca in the Resident Evil series again? Uh, no. 
Uh, Rebecca was probably like the least liked character in the first Resident Evil game, so I really doubt we'll ever see her again. Next two questions come from Oscar Navarro, and you want to know, could I do a Batman Arkham Asylum gameplay video? Uh, sure, I'm going through a couple of uh, computer issues, but as soon as I get them sorted, I'll be sure to do a quick little video on it. Your next question is, uh, what are my favorite superhero movies? You know, I actually have uh, made a list of that, which I'll leave in the description, uh, a video that I did a while back, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. The only thing that's changed is where you see F X-Men 2 in uh, f uh, First Class, which I believe would be number 2. Uh, replace that with Days of Futures mm -hmm. Past, and the list is pretty much like that. And the last question comes from Draven G, and you want to know what are my top five favorite X-Men characters. You know, Draven, I've actually already filmed two videos going over my top five favorite male X-Men characters and top ten. No, not top ten, top five. My top five favorite male X-Men characters and top five favorite female X-Men characters. But unfortunately, my converter is not really working because I need to get uh, my computer fixed. Yeah. But as soon as it's done, I will get those videos up, which is why I'm kind of uploading this video from my PlayStation. And with that, those are all the questions that you guys had for me for this particular episode. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to keep track of me in my future episodes of people's questions. And if you have any questions that you would like me to answer in episode 123 next Friday, please type them in the comments down below, but make sure you get them into me before next Wednesday when I start filming this. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I'll see you next time. Chill.